Everybody needs a buddy. Kern River Brewing Company, River Buddy Pale Ale. Brewed in Kernville, California. Citra, Simcoe, and Eureka hops combined with clean, crisp Sierra Mountain water will make this hoppy pale ale your best friend. Dip your toes in the water, sit back, relax. Life is good down by the river with a buddy. back to the Tapping Out Show. My name is Jeremy, this is Matt, and we're doing Kern River Brewery's River Buddy. Um, Matt saw this at the local beer cave and wanted to try it we got something else and we regretted it so we went back and got this uh, I have not had any brew from Kern River yet that I know of I have I just tried this <laughs> <laughs> so I couldn't wait so I actually tried it um, it's really good um, but uh, I haven't tried anything from this brewery but uh, Kern River is is a local place I've been to uh, as I went as a kid it's a good place to go like river rafting and things like that and uh you know i like the river so i saw it thought it was cool um but it's it's a it's a good beer i think I'll, I, I know i'll like it I, i'm hoping you'll like it we'll see we're gonna go ahead and try this out it is actually a pale ale it's not an ipa it's not an imperial yeah it's um, not an indian pale ale. i actually like this it's got got a lot of head on it um it's a good color. It kind of looks like a uh, typical like American Pilsner or something. Say so it's a little less translucent than your regular lower end spectrum color. Um, I'd probably push this around 20 just because of the, you know, the dark to it. You do smell the hops right off the bat. There is a little bit more of a head that's might be more it definitely of a face. It smells like uh, it's got that California IPA kind of smell to it, which I, I like that citrus uh, citrus kind of kind of smell. It smells good and fresh. And you know. well, the citra hops is going to make a big do, big part of that, regardless if they put any actual you know fruit in it or anything like that. The the head, I want to say this could be the beer. Or this could be just the way I poured it because there was a little bit more in this bottle than I was expecting. Um, we're going to go ahead and try this. Matt's already tried it, so cheers. Cheers. So, again, it's not an IPA, it's a pale ale. For a pale ale, uh, most pale ales are still dry, still hoppy, still yeah. in the pale ale category, but for what it is, the, the, the dryness isn't that rough. The bite at the end is not that bad. It's um, not very dry. It's not very yeah, dry. It's not very dry. It's not very super hoppy. Obviously, it's hoppy because it's a pale ale, but it doesn't have that... that really bitter bite that most West Coast Pale Ales or West Coast IPAs have with the type of hops that they use. Um, it's pretty good. I mean, I personally think it's pretty good. He's already had it, so he's already formed an opinion, so why don't you share that? Um, I think it's an awesome beer. Um, I, Like I said, we, we almost got it the other day and we ended up getting some other beer that was uh, pretty hyped up, so we thought, you know, we kept seeing this thing. It was rated on the top 100 beers and it was rated in the top 10 um so we got that one instead and i kind of regretted that this is a really good beer um most what usually what i think about a beer like this that's at that 5.6 kind of rating is i would take most normal american beers off the shelf and i would drink something like this yeah um you know there, there's a few you know different type of flavors you you could have but you know for a for a 5.6 this has got a lot of flavor it's a really good beer. Like I said, it's, you know, Sierra Mountain Water. You can kind of tell almost like uh, like Rogues and some of the high-end beers where you can, they say they use good water and stuff. You can tell when you're drinking it. Um, it's got good flavor to it. It's easy to drink. Um, and it's not super hoppy and super strong like an IPA. So you can have a couple of these and, and you know, not, not get too buzzed if, if, you know, that's something you're worried about. And, um, you know, it's not very dry. I, I, I would I would probably rate this uh, 
you know, a five out of five beer, I, I would say. And I don't, I don't give that out too often. I would say I would rate it in the high fours between 4.75 to 5. There's other pale ales, pale ales that we've done that I would say this overshadows. Yeah, and this thing was reasonably priced. We got this thing at the local uh, beer cave for six bucks. Five ninety nine. So I mean, for six dollars, this kind of flavor, this kind of quality, local California uh, beer, that's pretty awesome. This is definitely a good one. I could, I should definitely hope to see these in six packs in stores. Yeah. You know. Uh, more available we'll definitely try to promote this beer as much as we can I'm, I'm a big fan i am too uh, so with that said if you know anything else from kern river that you know you've tried and want us to try something similar to this whatever uh hit us up it's info at tappingoutshow.com that's our email uh, and then social media it's all one word tapping out show besides that we're going to finish these up because it is really good and you guys have a good night cheers yeah.